What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today is Sunday, and yes, it is a published day, and yes, we are incredibly late with the video for today. But folks, that is because yesterday we spent the entire day processing our chickens. It was our very first run of chickens. And of course, we also decided that we needed to part them all up, all but maybe five of them. So that was a lot of work. Didn't leave us a whole lot of time for editing the video. Today, I had a soccer game. Go figure. But that meant we didn't have a whole lot of time today between cleaning things up, getting everything taken care of, and well, you know, life, there just isn't much left. But wanted to make sure that I got a video out to you because again, it is Sunday and today is a published day. I have a special treat for you. Now, some of you have seen this video because you followed me on Lifecrafted, which is a different channel I tried to start and it just sort of fizzled a little bit. Maybe I'll get back to it, maybe I won't, but I figured, hey, many of you haven't seen it yet, so why not show it to you? I'll put it here on Life on Beagle Road instead of Life Crafted. Kind of confusing. It's a whole lot of life. But that's what we do here. Life on Beagle Road. Okay, folks, let's roll clip. Today, we're gonna make some leather stuff. True confessions here, people. I forget things on a pretty much regular basis. Like we're talking, I don't know, minute to minute. And I ain't winning it. Speaking of forgetting, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll wait, I will. Then the video will continue. Did you do it? How about now? Hey, thanks. So I'm always carrying around one of these handy little notebooks. Problem is, they get beat up pretty quick and uh, I find myself needing another one. The other issue is, is I never really know where it is because, well, I don't know, I forget. So what I decided to do is make one of these nifty little leather covers for it. I kind of like it, it's pretty cool. I've only really been into leather for a short amount of time, so I figured, uh, you know, hey, let's give it a shot. Stay tuned, see how I made it. So as far as tools go, some of the things I borrowed from my wife's sewing kit, uh, and a couple other things I found on Amazon. I'll put some links below, so if you want to get started in leather craft, you can find some of the things that you'll need to get moving. So check those out and uh, here we go. After I finish cutting up all my pieces, I'm gonna add some glue on the outside. This is a contact cement, so all you do is put it on, wait a few minutes, tack it together, and you're gold. That allows it to stay together while I try and sew it together. Before I sew it, I etch myself a line uh, by removing some of the leather material and then hammering in some holes all along that line. Now that we've got holes in our leather, I'm gonna to start to hand sew it. I don't actually have a sewing horse yet, which is this thing that kind of clamps it together, so I just put it between my knees and I sew that way. I'm gonna be looking at making my own sewing horse, which is kind of the reason I don't have one, because, uh, well, I've been lazy and haven't made one myself. Plus, my knees aren't broke, so I just use that.
part of it is going to be to burnish the edges. I'm gonna sand them, add a burnishing agent, and then begin to burnish the edges. You don't actually have to burnish the edges, but I would tell you that uh, it really helps to keep things from separating for one, and two, it really makes that project look uh, just a tad more professional. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, that was crazy. Literally, it was going so fast, it just poof, bent right there. So I learned a little bit of a valuable lesson on uh, using the Dremel for a burnisher and what speeds not to use, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'll finish the rest by hand and then we'll wrap up this project. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I rather enjoy working with leather. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but yet it's not the hardest thing in the world. So if you haven't done anything with leather, I would highly recommend you give it a try. Honestly, for a dad like me, who's got to spend some time with the kids in the living room, this is perfect. I could sit in the living room and uh, bang out a project and it's all good. Well, I hope you like that video, folks. Check out some of our other videos and we'll catch you on the flip flop or the flop flip or the side by side. I don't really know. Lots of stuff to find me on. Maybe the flippity flop, the floppity flip, flippity floppity flippity flip flip. Did I have enough coffee today? I don't know if I had enough coffee today. It's pretty late right now. I don't know if I'm gonna have another cup. I probably shouldn't have another cup. Maybe I'll just eat some cupcakes, some cookies. Hmm, I don't know. I gotta go make some lists. Please subscribe, comment, give us a like. <whistles> have a great day, folks. Today, we're gonna make it, oh. Today, we're gonna make it. Oh, what? Today, we're gonna make it. Today, we're gonna.